but first I will try to break my speed record of one hour and five minutes. That sounds so impossible. Hello dear puzzlers and welcome to Puzzling Happiness. I'm Vesna and today I have something really cool to share with you. So I am going to participate in the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. It will be held in Spain in September. So I'm really curious about ways how to improve puzzling speed. And now I think I have found something, at least with this specific puzzle. So this is Vintage Cookbooks by Amy Stewart and it's 500 piece Ravensburger, of course. And I think that this theory might work also with other puzzles, but I'm not completely sure, so I will test it in the end of this video, so that I will do this brand new puzzle, which is still in plastic wrap. I just bought this today. So I will try to do this in under 90 minutes or maybe even under 75 minutes. I don't have any idea if it will work. I just really hope that it will. So we will see. But first, a little backstory because I happen to like them. So I and my husband have this habit that every evening I do some puzzling while he is reading aloud to me and we just love it. We have had so many adventures and laughs and deep conversations. It's our favorite time of the day and it really makes us forget all the worries. But the thing is that I'm only a poor librarian and I don't have the money to do a different puzzle every day, so I do the same ones over and over. Here are some of my most dramatic improvements. This one I did in 4 hours and 30 minutes, but on the next time I got 2 hours and 50 minutes, so I was 1 hour and 40 minutes faster. Then I did this Birds in the Meadow at first in 2 hours and 40 minutes, then in 2 hours and 2 minutes, then in 2 hours and 30 minutes, and finally in 1 hour and 40 minutes. And I haven't dared to do this again after that. But I find it really interesting that these times can vary so much. Or maybe it's just my weird brain. However, there's one puzzle that goes faster and faster almost every time. And yes, you guessed correctly, it's this one. Vintage Cookbooks by Amy Stewart. Some of you maybe saw me do this for the first time on my 12 hour puzzling challenge video. Here I sorted only the edges and I also did them first, but I haven't started this with the edges since then because I want to be able to move the covers around more freely. I remember struggling with this one a little bit because I had a habit of taking a piece in my hand and then I tried to find the correct spot from the box cover. But that kind of method doesn't really work with me, because I get so easily overwhelmed by busy images. So my time was 1 hour and 39 minutes, and even though I did that back in February, it is still my fastest uh, time on a 500 piece puzzle, if we count only the first times. And that's what we do, of course. And my second best time is uh, 1 hour 50 minutes with this puzzle here, Kitten in a Cup. My second time of doing this puzzle was in a virtual speed puzzling competition. Now you are probably thinking that, wait a minute, you had already done that puzzle. This is cheating. But I talked with the organizers and they were super cool. Besides, there were like two months between these two assemblies, plus I have a terrible memory, so my final time was actually three minutes slower than on the first time. I think I might have been also a bit overconfident because I had gotten my best time on this puzzle, even though I had struggled with it. 
This time my worst mistake was to sort all the colors because it took too much time and I ended up with confusing pieces that I didn't know where they went. Also, I was sick on that day, so it might have affected something. But guess what I did right after I had submitted my contest results? Yep, you guessed it. I did the puzzle again because it had been so much fun and I hadn't been able to do any puzzles for many many days because I had just slept in my bed and been very sick and miserable. But this was fun, especially now that I remembered the image so well. This time I sorted only the edges and the blues and the reds because they seemed to be the easiest colors to start with. The edges are super fun to put in last, but I realized only much later that it's a bit unnecessary to sort them if I'm going to leave them for last anyway. My time was 1 hour and 18 minutes, so it was 24 minutes faster than the one I had got earlier on the same day. It was my fastest time ever. But wait, the story continues. So 11 days later... Yep, here we are again. I assumed that I had completely forgotten the image in 11 days, and that I would be back to 1 hour and 40 minutes, but no, I actually got 6 minutes better time, which means 1 hour and 12 minutes. This was something I had only been able to dream about for these past 3 months, and I got really excited. So on the next day, I decided to try something new, with the same puzzle, of course. I have done this puzzle already four times and I feel like I know it quite well already. So I was thinking that this time I will not do any sorting at all and we'll see if my time will be faster or slower. So I decided not to sort anything, but in reality I couldn't resist snatching some red and blue pieces and that was actually really great. The most important thing was that I didn't sort the edges, because I always left them for last anyway. I had thought that sorting the edges is a habit and that it would be easier to just take them aside than always remember that no, don't take them. But no, it was actually much easier to focus only on the colors and not be shapes. I honestly didn't even notice the edge pieces there. Again, puzzling was very enjoyable because the image was so familiar, but I still don't remember the order of those book covers, and the white covers are the most difficult, but I loved, loved, loved every second with this puzzle. And my time! Are you ready? Well, it was one hour and five minutes! Can you believe that? It's almost one hour, or actually it's almost under one hour. It was only like six minutes too much. So Now you are probably thinking that, well, so what? It's only one puzzle and it's very unlikely that you get to do this exact same puzzle at the Worlds. And yes, you are absolutely right. But I think it's good to know how it feels when you are puzzling really fast how it feels in your body, how it feels in your brain, how fast do your hands move, uh, what kind of things are you observing, what is important information, what is irrelevant information, things like that. Now I'm going to do this puzzle once again because I have this very secret wish that I want to get this done in under one hour. So we'll see how that goes and hopefully very shortly after that so that I still have that memory in my body like how to puzzle really fast. Um, I will do this new puzzle that I have never done before and 
If I get this done in under 90 minutes, I would say that my theory is correct. Because my best time at first attempt is 1 hour and 39 minutes. So if I suddenly get like 1 hour and 30 minutes on the first try, I would say that it helps at least a little bit to practice this really fast puzzling. So we'll see what happens. This is really interesting. But first I will try to break my speed record of one hour and five minutes. That sounds so impossible. But we'll see. All right, here we go. Here in the beginning, I did something ingenious that I had never thought of before. Usually I have always done these neat little piles for each color, but this time I just pretty much threw them to the side. I didn't even watch where they landed. I have to say I was quite worried that the pile would be too large because this time I took all the reds, blues and yellows and I felt like there were quite many yellow pieces. Well, the pile was quite big, but it was definitely less than 500 pieces and the colors were easy to tell apart. My method of doing these covers in the beginning is to just connect the pieces and then find the right spot for the whole cover by looking at the image. It's much easier for me than to take one piece at a time and look at the image all the time because as I said, I get overwhelmed very easily by busy images. Oh wow, I cannot believe it. 55 minutes! I was 10 minutes faster than before. That's that's amazing. Wow. Um, so now it's almost half past seven. So I think I will try the next one right after this. Okay, well, this one started really well. I took all the light colored pieces and put them together quite fast without the box cover. But remember how I didn't really like doing the bicycle in cute dogs in the garden? Well, this whole puzzle was basically one big bicycle, but a totally crazy one without any logic. There were just spheres and circles and cogs and tubes and lines everywhere. And if I looked at the image, it was completely useless because Everything was everywhere. I don't know if this makes any sense at all, but that is how I felt. I was completely lost. After the light bits, I didn't really have any plan. I tried to do the zodiac sign circle in the bottom part, but that was just as insane as all the other parts. Here I am finally doing these star things and then I start the edge and I think I should have done this so much earlier. I think it would have helped quite a lot. But this rest of the puzzle was quite nice. It was only those uh, empty spaces without any insanity. <laughs> so that was fun. Oh well. It took me two hours and seven minutes, so I didn't quite make it in uh, under uh, 90 minutes or definitely not 70 minutes. My strategy was to take all these uh, light pieces and that went really well. I got this part and this sun done really fast. It went really well, but then <laughs> when I had to do all of these things and yeah, I, I just couldn't. <laughs> ah, my brain almost melted. I think this is quite a complicated image and it didn't help much if I looked at the box cover because <laughs> I just couldn't understand it. And there are so many of these same things, like these spheres, they are just everywhere. Also these kind of circles and these tubes, so many of those. And 
three of these sun type of things and two of these and two of these and two of these so i don't know it was just all so complicated and this star sign wheel this was so confusing because this text is so squished that you can hardly tell what it says and also i just couldn't understand the logic like cancer gemini, gemini taurus areas like what is the logic in that but then i actually just now realized that it should be Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and so on. That sounds much more familiar. So I don't know why is it going this way and not this way. So it got me really confused and I couldn't understand and I just left it for last. If I could do this again, I would do this much earlier because I had pretty much all the pieces but I just didn't do them for some reason. I guess I didn't want to because there are two of these and they felt kind of difficult. So I just kept pushing it. <laughs> but it makes so much sense to do them because that would help with all these other pieces around them. So I think it was a mistake to leave them for so late also i could have done these edges much sooner they would have helped quite a lot and i think i pretty much looked at one piece and tried to see where it belongs but i think i should have looked at this image first and then think okay so now i need these kind of pieces, where are they? So I maybe should have done that more, but I kind of didn't look at the image that much. And I think that was a mistake. So I really have to practice that. Here is a puzzle that took me one minute longer. And now I'm just wondering why. <laughs> what was so difficult in this? I don't know. But now that I'm more familiar with this image, I'm actually already planning on doing this again. So could be fun if you know what you're doing. But I have to say that I'm super happy with my very first 55 minutes. I'm so, so happy. <laughs> And this is such a fun puzzle. I think I will never grow tired of this. And I didn't remember everything this time either. So yeah, I just don't have that good memory. And the trickiest parts for me were these really old ones and these black and white covers. Um, they were so similar with each other, so that's why they were always so difficult for me. But there are so lovely covers. And here is the reluctant cook. Well, what do you think of my theory? Would you like to try? I also think that I might have been able to do this new puzzle in time if it had been easier this was so so difficult like if it had been even a scenery of some sort well i'm really bad at sceneries but but something that wouldn't have been this complicated but that puzzle was literally the only option in the store. Because I had done Dandelions at Sunset, I had done New York, I had done Vintage Still Life, so Golden Solar System it is. But yeah, please let me know if you would like to try. 
and I will definitely continue my testing with this method. Yeah, that was all for today. Nope, actually it isn't, so keep on watching. This is now the next day and now I actually think I know a better strategy with this one. So I think it would be best to do this first like I did and then put these in place and after that these edges and work inwards from there. So I think I just have to try this. Oh wow, this felt even more difficult this time and I'm really surprised that I got a better time, like 13 minutes better I think. Uh, so the beginning was fine, I did this and these, these things and then the edge and I was thinking like Oh, this is going really well. This is really easy. Why did I complain so much? Well, then I started doing this, this thing here and that was so, so tricky again. <laughs> and the, the thing is that there are two of these, these as well. So. I I just never knew if the piece went here or here and which way it went and uh, that was terrible. But I think that worst of all were these two things. Like it just didn't happen. <laughs> it was only when I um, started to do these kind of wheels that it all started to click but uh, before that it was a mess i just i just couldn't and also with all all else <laughs> like at some point i had some uh, green pieces because i had some kind of memory that yeah green pieces were fun <laughs> what <laughs> and then i just sat there with those uh, green pieces in my hand and yeah didn't happen <laughs> but I did have also some favorite bits like this sun here and these months and then this middle part and all the planets and these things and also this purple things were quite okay and then all the like these kind of empty bits pretty much <laughs> I love those but all these complicated things oosh. it was kind of fun to do this again and I'm pretty sure I will do this again at some point because i think this is very good practice for kind of try to take one thing at a time and look at the image and just breathe and concentrate and yeah this will be that kind of a puzzle for me 
good practice. So if you want to challenge yourself, try this puzzle and if you got it done in under 90 minutes, please tell because then you are a genius. So yeah, there's a little challenge for you. Thank you for watching this super long video and happy puzzling! See you! Bye bye!